more than 98% of the animals on Earth are invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals that do not have backbones or vertebral columns. They live in a diversity of environments from unbearably hot deserts to intolerably cold polar regions. In this video, you will be learning about the classifications of invertebrates and their characteristics.
Just like the vertebrates, invertebrates are also very important economically. Insects contribute to the fertility of soil. When termites and ants build tunnels under the ground, they bring with them a lot of materials that will later decompose and add to the fertility of the soil. They also help in pollination. Fruits and seeds develop as a result of pollination brought about by insects feeding on nectar of flowers. Some insects are also sources of food and medicine. Bees provide us with honey, a source of sugar made from the nectar of flowers. Honey is also a component for some kinds of medicine. Crustaceans like lobster, crabs, and shrimps are used in aquaculture. They are the major sources of trade and marine business. Many types of mollusks are sources of food for humans. Among them are oysters, clams, mussels, sea snails, squids, and octopus. Shells from mollusks are used in various industries. Pearls from oysters are used in jewelry and the mother of pearl lining. Shells are used in making buttons and decorative objects. As an overview, living things are classified according to the general groups known as the kingdom, down to the specific groups referred to as the phylum. This living things in fact are classified into five they are the animals plants protists fungi and moneran and as you have learned in your previous lesson under kingdom animalia we have the vertebrates and the invertebrates under vertebrates you have learned the specific group of animals which is the phylum chordata and in this lesson you have learned that under invertebrates we have the phylum porifera phylum mollusca phylum nidaria phylum arthropoda phylum nematoda phylum annelida phylum echinodermata and the phylum platyhelminthes. <laughs>